It's my birthday, and we're going to see shooting stars on a dark night hike. But first... Good morning. As I was sleeping, I turned 21 for the 10th time. <laughs> Did he get an hour to make that collage? It's a lot of captions, you want to admit? It, it took a while, it took a while, okay. Well, that means so much. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> About 50 miles later, we go to Tibet through our taste buds. On the wall hangs a Tibetan declaration of independence. I'm super hungry, so let's get this party started. Shoko Kasa. Oh, I love the sound of that. Not sure how authentically Tibetan the gluten-free options are, but I'm still interested. We are definitely getting momos. I'm curious about boja, Tibetan tea churned with milk, butter, and salt. Wait a second, it's my first time trying boja, so why does this taste familiar? This flavor reminds me of Solongtang, the Korean ox bone soup. My pan-fried sweet potato noodles have arrived. The dish contains carrot, cabbage, red onion, roasted organic pumpkin seeds, and chicken. My mystery adventure partner will be enjoying a steamy bowl of sweet potato noodle soup. This is a beef, this is a chicken, and this mushroom. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So we are told to eat the momos first. They come with house-made spicy sauce and soy sauce. So this one was a beef. Dumplings. When can you go wrong with dumplings? But only when it's not fresh. That's when you go wrong. The exterior is very thick, so it doesn't break apart too easily when you bite into it. And you can even pick it up with your hand. For the next bite, let's pair the momo with spicy sauce. Am I being ambitious? Is this one too many drops? We shall find out. Toot toot. Let's try the mushroom dumpling this time. Oh, the skin on this one is more yellow than the others. The beef and chicken momos have a neutral exterior. Let's try the chicken. The chicken momo is my favorite of the three kinds we tried. The base of the beef and chicken dumpling is a different sauce than the mushroom dumpling. It's the sauce that makes it magic. It's a sweet sauce. Savory and moisturizing. You do not need chapstick after eating this. This reminds me of chapche, the Korean glass noodles. You know, when you try a different cuisine, it's so funny how different and yet how similar it is to other cuisines. Throughout the centuries, throughout humankind, we're always importing, exporting ideas, whether it's food or certain traditions. Across the street is a little Tibet gift shop. Check out this lock. So this opens and I'm told that it's a prayer of compassion. Mani pad me home? I guess you use it as a, a is it a necklace? Yeah. Like this? Oh, okay. Triple-edged ritual daggers, symbolically used to cut off the three root poisons, desire, anger, and ignorance. The prayer wheel contains a scroll with a prayer of compassion. Each turn of the prayer wheel sends a wave of positive energies for the well-being of all sentient beings. 3.20 p.m. Next up, we stop by Moe's Books, family owned since 1959. The bookshop looks small from the outside, but it does span four floors. On the way to Indian Rock Park, we pass by a detailed mural and a tree that looks like a hand with a dozen fingers pointing to the sky. <laughs> Made it just on time to catch the sunset. We have a view of SF. To the right, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh ho, look who we have here. The moon is giving us a smile. As fellow humans sit down, it starts to feel like a movie theater. Nature's theater. Brr. As the sun goes down, the winds are picking up. One hour left until the night hike begins. Let's pick up snacks. 
These nori wrapped energy sticks intrigue me. They're sprouted, raw, and vegan. I'm not vegan, but I'ma try it. Cubes of coconut, cashew, chia seeds, and more. Count me in. It's my birthday, and we didn't have a cake yet. We're gonna get some special egg waffle. Gadani. Oh, it looks so good. As a base, we order the matcha red bean egg waffle. This reminds me of my closet, because I have a fake grass line in my closet. That's right, I film in my closet. Quietest place in my home. Anybody else find bulb coils mesmerizing? From this angle, I see two hearts and even three butts. The window above the door swings down like a drawbridge for a moat. Just got the red bean matcha egg waffle with pumpkin ice cream and dried rose petals. A tall golden candle tops it all off. I'm gonna make a wish. I wish. I get real specific with my wish and develop the details. Creating a mental vision board takes time, you know. I'm sure it doesn't burn all the way before I finish my wish. Also, I like to add ands into my wish. Some people say that's not allowed, but it's my birthday and I'ma do what I want. <laughs> True to the food photo, there are red beans inside each pod. The egg waffle is slightly bitter. After all, it contains matcha. The pumpkin ice cream is giving me autumn feels. With few bites left, the melted ice cream starts looking like a thinned out butternut squash soup. Holy nuts! We're running late for the night hike. And then we encounter. Hey dear, that deer was taking a poop. Yes, that's a deer. Later I learned that deer squat when urinating to keep their legs dry. They do poop standing up. We're five minutes late, but thankfully the crew has not departed yet. <laughs> it's chilly. After about five minutes into the hike, we turn on the red lights to preserve our night vision. Solo night hiking will give me a series of adrenaline rush. Night hiking with a group I find to be cozy and relaxing. This is a four mile hike, right? Uh, yeah, round two miles, trip. Two miles, huh? two miles to where? To the high point. I think I saw something shoot in the sky. We make it to the high point where we have a view of San Francisco. For the meteors, we look to the other side of the sky. Thanks to the weather, we were able to stargaze and pinpoint Orion's belt, along with other constellations. Check out this glow-in-the-dark star map. It's pretty awesome. It was windy and chilly, but so worth every goosebump. Collectively, we saw over a dozen shooting stars. I wasn't able to capture a meteor on camera, as they come and go so fast. But here's a clip I found online. That sound, I think it's a voltage. It's kind of freaky. It's like someone's rubbing their fingers against like a metal fence. <laughs> Guys, so I just got this box and it says NUTSTUCK! <laughs> what do you think is gonna be inside? I mean, I don't know, but there's a big hint on the outside of the box. It is addressed to Mina Binch. So who could it be? Could it be Faye Binch? FYI, this is not sponsored by nuts.com, but uh, if you guys want to sponsor, you know who to contact. <laughs> I have a good feeling there's gonna be some almonds in this. <laughs> the drawings on this are so cute. I'm so excited! I could jump out of here, take a peek inside, keep going. You can't stop now. It's official, it's from Faye. What does the message say? Words that describe Mina and Faye's brain. Non-judgmental, savage, pixels, ninja, <laughs> almonds, thoughtful, motivating, hilarious, almonds, <laughs> toenails, <laughs> almonds again, <laughs> that's the third time. <laughs> Diligent, earnest, humble, trustful, and cute. My cheeks are starting to get hot. Oh, Faye, you make me blush. Dude, it's so crazy. Whoa, it's getting all like 150 degrees up here. My cheeks are gonna fry because of you. Thanks, Faye. A lot of these words I could apply to Faye. Especially toenails. Did you guys see Faye moonwalk? She really knows how to dance socks off. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I just ran out of almond butter. Handcrafted vegan decadent. What's this one? Sesame teriyaki almonds and cashews! <gasps> I just, I can't wait. It smells like Japanese food. Oh, the crunch! There's a lot of flavor in this. You 
could even pair it with rice or quinoa. Bits of uh, sesame seeds. Wow, I think I need to hide this or else I'll finish it all today. Actually, I can't hide anything because I'll forget where I put it. I'll just have to put this in a place that is like hard to reach, but I know where it is. I need to like duct tape it onto the ceiling. There is a box in this box and it's quite tightly fitted. I want to take this out. Eh. <laughs> you gotta really work for those nuts if you want it. I feel like I'm a squirrel right now. <laughs> I'm trying to crack open a shell. It's almost there. <laughs> it's coming out. Hold on. Pistachio, Brazil nuts, almonds, macadamia. Oh, there's not just raw almonds, there's also roasted almonds. I'm really touched right now. Faye, thank you so much. I'm speechless. <laughs> I can't wait to eat these nuts. But seriously, this is such a thoughtful and sweet gift. Thank you, Faye. Thank you. And you guys may know I'm not a big fan of peanuts. Faye showed me love by giving me all kinds of nuts and not peanuts. So this almond butter, it contains goji berries, chia seeds, raw hemp seeds, coconut sugar, and Himalayan pink sea salt. Stir well. If this spills all over my bed sheets, that stain will always remind me of Faye's love. Thank you so much to Faye! And for everyone wishing me happy birthday, it got on the bubble wrap. Ooh, there's some crunchiness in that. Mmm. Ooh, I've never... Oh, it fell again. Oh, that was close. That was real close. That was next to my sock. I've never had almond butter with all these other ingredients, so this is a treat. Mmm. Definitely duct taping this one on the ceiling. On the highest ceiling in a corner. Ooh. I'm so tempted to eat all of this. You know what? Every time I eat this, I'm gonna think of Faye and I want it to last as long as possible. You know, I wanted to talk about my 30th year on this planet. A lot of things happened. It was not even a year ago when I was at Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. I was on NBC with the Today Show anchors. That, I still can't believe that happened. And then I also was very humbled by aging and knowing my physical and mental limits. 10 years ago, I was able to handle a lot more stress and a lot more projects and a lot more things going on, but now like my body just shuts down. Uh, last December, I experienced my first anxiety attack. I'm not 100% sure of the correct terminology. I can only describe what I experienced. I had this knot in my chest, I just could not release it, un undo it, and then I just froze. I was like, what was I doing? What was I? I was staring blankly at the computer and I was like, what? What's happening? So um, that was really scary. It happened really suddenly, but at the same time, like, it's not like I was completely relaxed and then the anxiety attack stroke. I had a lot of stress building up around the holidays and a lot of work to catch up on, a lot of things, this and that going on, and then I just kept getting stressed and stressed and stressed and then the stress kept like increasing and then finally, boom, anxiety attack. And then immediately the next day, I would wake up with a cold or a flu, you know, I would wake up sick. So that happened multiple times when I was 30. Before I was 30, I never had anxiety attacks. It was weird because it was like only like a week or two after I turned 30, I had my first anxiety attack. Everyone says once you turn 30, things change. You can't stay up past midnight without feeling tired. Even when I was 28, I started realizing I can't stay up past t midnight very well. So year 30, I think one of my biggest lessons was to take time off, to rest, to heal, 
to reflect. It's a work in progress because there are days where I'm like, oh, I have so much to do. You know, there's a lot of things on my mind I want to share with you guys, but uh, this is, I just want to focus on my birthday vlog and, you know, keep it cheery, positive. Um, but you know, like there is other sides to me. No one's like just one side at one plane. There are other sides to me, a lot of thoughts going on, a lot of this and that. I have a hair in my, I think I have a hair in my shirt. Isn't it crazy? Oh yeah, here's the hair. Do you see that? It's so crazy that one strand of hair out of all this footage, square f or inch footage in your shirt, right? But you could feel this one thin thing. Like if you line it up around your shirt, it's like it'll take maybe 10,000 hair strands to go around your body because these are thin. But crazy how you could feel this. So sometimes in life, you might feel like you're just another one in a couple billion people. You might feel like just another number. Just like this hair or like a ripple in the water. You're making a difference. You're doing something. You're leaving waves of energy. And even if you don't, you know, publish a book or create this crazy building, it's okay that you don't graduate from this earth without having a million dollar estate to give to your kids or you know nothing of that materialistic stuff it doesn't require much money if at all to leave good waves of energy the things we do today ripple down to the next generation and all the small things all every single day adds up today might seem like just another day but it's one day that goes into another step towards your dream or towards something Anyhow, be like this hair, okay? Seemingly trivial, but you do mean something. You make a difference. That hair was talking in my shirt, and I noticed it. And you guys thought I was kidding. Yeah, that's my basket of nuts up there on the ceiling in pink duct tape. I'm just kidding, actually. I put all the nuts in uh, four, five small containers that evening. So I just got a book in the mail and I'm like, I never ordered this. It turns out it's from Mommy O. Happy birthday. This is a really nice book. Hope you like it. Mom. Thanks, mommy -o. I know you're watching this video. Oh, that rhymes. mommy -o, video. Shout out to my birthday twinsy, Nadia Vega. Last year, we got to celebrate our 30th birthday together in Singapore. This year, we may be thousands of miles apart, but I'm still sending you lots of warm hugs and kisses. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, comment with a squirrel emoji. If you do not have a squirrel, then post an apple. Toodles, my noodles. Birthday or not, I start off the morning with a warm cup of water, preferably with fresh lemon. Course two is one ripe avocado. Let's make it spicy with cayenne pepper. So we had to put in the order for the beef and chicken first, because that one, uh, it took about 20 minutes prep time. The mushroom, uh, this one takes 10 minutes. If you're on a rush and you're on like a lunch break, for example, and you work around here, then you want to put that in the order immediately when you enter. Uh, the reason why we came to this restaurant was actually, tonight we're going on the meteor shower hike and this restaurant is nearby there. And also we just want to try the Tibetan food. And on top of that, uh, one of my friends, whom I call Tammy Hammy, uh, growing up, sometimes she calls me Momo. And this dumpling is called Momo. So I thought, how fitting. You can make a difference. There is a science to this cone. You tear it off and then continue to consume. Good place to hang out in the shade if it's a nice sunny day. And maybe throw a frisbee.
Can you find us? You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding! This comment cracked me up. I want to marry your addiction of almonds. By the way, remember these、uh, power wraps we got yesterday before the hike? It's like a thick pencil. <sighs> Smells a little strange. I mean, I have had many vegan raw vegan dessert and snacks, so I'm kind of used to that earthy smell taste. This one, the flavor, kind of tastes like hanyak, herbal medicine. I used to take some herbal medicine when I was a kid. They brew a lot of dry stuff and make this dark brown liquid. It tasted really bad when I was a kid. But with age, it doesn't taste as nasty. Maybe because my palate has grown. It's weird. I think as a kid I would have hated it, but I'm actually, I kind of like it. Because it tastes like hanyak. I feel like anything bad in my body is just flying out the window. It's like a lucky charm for the body, the innards. I wanted to do a little recap. Yesterday's meteor shower night hike was very cold, very windy, but also it was so worth it. We did see shooting stars. The thing is, you don't know when the meteors will pass by. And right when someone's like, oh, there's one, you look and it's gone. Just a split second. So you have to constantly be looking at the sky and catch the opportunity to see those falling stars, those shooting stars. That makes you so mindful and present. Because you can't be looking at your phone, you can't be doing anything else. You just have to keep looking at the stars. Give your full attention to the sky. And the moon was smiling. 